the closest guess. And therefore, winner of tonight's Head of House gig is Hello Swag. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl A's in the Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Yes, guys. So level one wins again. And the new head of house is Hello Swag. Yes, the first head of house and now the fourth head of house. It was a close call and definitely this particular game was totally a game of luck seriously it was really a game of luck and to the level two housemates <laughs> happy nomination so a cool nominations because <laughs> you guys are customers to these nominations yes guys so um 6 p.m to be exact the head of house challenge started there was no taunting there was no toxic whatever there was no victory song or chanting or, or what or, or what not everybody has i kind of feel ever since they pair them together for the munchie tax everybody has now realized you know what it's an individual tax basically so the first game was the game of puzzles and i love puzzles to be very honest yes guys so they were all presented with pieces you know to put together you know for a puzzle and all that yes guys so after you know the first round big brother asked them to freeze but unfortunately, Deji did not freeze. He was shaking. But the thing here is, I did not... He's not the only one I saw, like, moving. But Big Brother disqualified him for reasons best known to Big Brother. Yes, guys. And Deji almost had all his puzzles together. So all the other housemates were asked to go back to their seats. So it was remaining Daniela, Brian, Eloswag, Hermes, Fam Savian, who was, who was the other person, and Diana. Yes, guys. So three three from each levels and they were given a minute to put together their pieces Ella Swag already had like two remaining Brian had like six pieces remaining so of course Ella Swag finished first um, Brian finished second so it was now a battle be between Hermes and Daniela Hermes actually finished first between before Daniela but he did not raise you know the card that he was supposed to raise before Daniela Daniela picked up the card first but I think Ella Swag kind of like raised his hand first so yeah it was a battle of time so at the end of the day Big Brother dismissed um Fam Savi, Diana, and Daniela. So it was now to the finals between Elo Swag, Brian, and Hemis. Yes, guys. So they were asked to count a bunch of broom. Like, <laughs> who knew that counting brooms is not very, very important? So Big Brother said that all brooms have been counted. The specific numbers have already been, like, put on that um envelope so they were to count and whoever gets the nearest number to you know the brooms what is now the winner so at the end of the day they wrote down the numbers Hermes did not actually write down a number when the buzzer you know went off and I don't know why people asked him to put out a number like I don't get it anyways at the end of the day the numbers of the on the of the broom was like I think 450 or 405 and Ella Swag was crowned the winner because he wrote 390 yes yeah, so Ella Swag is now the newest head of house now immediately Ella Swag won I just knew somewhere in my heart that Groovy is gonna be on the chopping block again this week but I mean Hey, it was kind of surprising Groovy's name was not the first, you know, name on his list. Rather, it was the last. So, um, as usual, we better ask them to deliberate, you know, and later, 30 minutes after he should come and tell us who he has picked, you know, to be, you know, the um the ones that will face possible eviction next week, Sunday. So, while they were deliberating, a mild drama kind of ensued between... Shags and Ade Kunle. So what happened? So while they were talking about who was strong, oh, Brian is strong, Fina is strong for them to survive, oh, I didn't see Khaled going and all what not. Somebody said, okay, Brian, Fina, Ilebaye, um, Khaled were up last week. Who was the last person? And Ade Kunle said, Groovy. And Shags was like, oh, that explains a lot. The guy was just acting off that initially he thought it was because of, you know, the drama and all that. Maybe that's why. But now he understands and all that. And you you guys should remember that Groovy is Shag's roommate during the lockdown and Shag's had made it known that even if he becomes the head of house, he's never going to nominate Groovy, that they are actually friends. So now, 
when you know um he realized that adekule actually put groovy up for possible eviction he was like ah and you know shags shags is that kind of person that will say what he wants to say and damn all consequences right so he wasn't like i know you did not put him up because he's strong or anything you put him up because he's my friend because he's you know my person and all the other housemates were like no 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 it's not like that now i know that he was like you know what i have a right to my opinion just like every other person has a right to their opinion this guy doesn't really like me and that's the reason he did not put groovy up for any other reason but like to get at me i'm like brother shags i don't know i I don't know it might be true it might not be true yes i don't know i can't vouch for anybody in this game but i mean don't hate the player hate the game i mean that's what they are used to they, they used to tell us you too can also put his own roommate tomorrow if you are the one that is the head of house i mean is it not hemis that put up Khaled? i mean what what can we say to that is it not a uh, hemis that put up chrissy o who is Bella's roommate, even though Bella was like, you know, not happy with it. I mean, it's the game. Anyways, um, away from that, it was time for Elo Swag to make his nominations. Now, even Elo Swag was shocked. Yes, he was not prepared for what was about to happen in the diary room. Yes, guys. So he came, you know, and Bibeta was like, okay, um, how do you feel winning the head of house and all that? And he was like, oh, he, a lot of emotions. He doesn't even know, like, he's not been able to process it yet. And Bibeta was not like, okay, it's time for you to tell us who you have picked, you know. And one thing I noticed from the first time Bibeta said, it's time for you to nominate, he never said five housemates. Even when they were at the arena, normally Bibeta would be like five housemates. But this time around, he never said five housemates. And I knew that, okay, he knew that there is a possibility that his fake housemates might be, uh, you know, um, put up for possible eviction. So Bibeta was like, okay, um, make your first nomination. And he picked Cheesy. In fact, the whole of level one wants Cheesy to go. But little did they know that Cheesy goes nowhere. Cheesy is Big Brother's rider. That means he's going to be there till the end of the show. Yes, Cheesy and Rachel from level one are going to be there till the finals. Now, what was Elo Swag's reason? He said that Cheesy came into the show, you know, getting angry, not really trying to know them took the competition too far probably because of what you know his fellow level two housemates were telling him and people were like okay who is your second you know nomination he said daniela because daniela don't lose the love of his life or be her life or and because of that he feels like daniela won't really be happy even though like he feels like she put in her best you know during the arena games you know that's why you know he has to like put her up for her for his third nomination he put cast why Simple, no reason, because he's a married man and he feels like ah that may maybe um Oga Kes might want to go home because he's a married man and because Kes has not really been putting his best, you know, in the show and he's being laid back. And I told myself, ah, <laughs> you see all these people that have been hiding, thinking that okay, well, let's hide though, nobody's gonna see us. You see it, you see it. Anyways, for his fourth nomination, he said Mordella. I'm like another fake housemate. This one is going nowhere. And Sabi brother tells her to do so so he said his reason is because um he wants to see where modeler's strength lies for his fifth housemate i knew he was going to pick fam savvy the moment you know ella swag said in the beginning that oh he's going to be picking somebody that he spent some time with um even though my sister was like oh it might be fina i said no it has to be fam savvy and yes he picked fam savvy because also he wants to see his strength now um ella swag thought okay i've mentioned five people okay that's it you know kumbaya yeah, let me go. Everybody was like, no, mention your sixth housemate. He was like, ah, Mobe Wala. That was where he now mentioned a ah, Maka baby, Maki Billions. <laughs> reason, he doesn't have any solid reason, basically. In my head, I'm like, Amaka don't enter. I mean, Amaka was all oh, trying to, you know, get into the level one good books, trying to move to level one, trying to hide herself. I mean, still, they still nominated her, Abby. I mean, now she will understand that the game is the game. And Elizabeth well thought, okay, that's the end. People was like, nominate your seventh housemate. <laughs> And he said, ah, he didn't know. He was thinking, thinking, thinking. He initially wanted to say Brian. He now said, no, 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 Groovy. I'm like, ah, 
ah, I knew Groovy's name is going to enter this list. <laughs> His arch nemesis. And I'm happy Groovy's name actually entered, to be very, very honest. Why? Because he said he has, you know, um, he thinks he has some strength, but he wants to see how that goes. In my mind, I'm like, hello, swag, baby. Are you sure this thing has nothing to do with Chomsey? Chomsey? <laughs> because you all remember after the Saturday night party, Elo Swag cried because he overheard Chomsey telling Shanks that he actually loves you know, she actually loves Groovy. So I'm thinking maybe this has something, something to do with this and not because you want to see any strength. And to be very honest, I actually applaud the level one housemate. Oh, as toxic as they can be, they actually didn't want to, none of them wanted to nominate Fina. Yes, because Adekle actually said nominating Fina back to back is going to be giving her like that boss vibes. Even though they all agreed that Fina is a sweet girl and she is a boss, they just wanted her to rest. Even Chi Chi wanted Fina to rest. I'm like, oh, anyways, the game is is the game um so as at this moment five housemates are actually up because the two housemates you know that are on this list are not eligible to be voted for that is modella and cheesy so right now we have daniela cares fam savvy and maka and groovy and i'm seeing amaka and groovy surviving this as from um fam savvy daniela and um cares i don't know in fact i'm seeing daniela also surviving this i'm seeing daniela amaka and groovy surviving this if they are going to be el eliminating just two people i'm thinking cares and fam savvy might go even though i feel cares might go i just want him to have fun this week because the kind of news that we hit him when he gets outside the house is gonna be a heavy one you know coupled with the fact that he lost his you know child it's really, really going to be very, very hard on him. Now, talking about, you know, um, scary things and hard things that happened to housemates when they were evicted, did you guys know the real reason why Christy O did not come out on stage when she was evicted? A lot of us thought it's because she was not in the right mood at all. No, it's actually because she fainted. Yes, Christy O passed out backstage when, you know, um, she was evicted. That was the reason. How did I know this? Of course, I watched the vodcast with um, El Lozenum. Yes, guys, they spilled a lot of tea. So if you're on Show Max, make sure you go watch it because you're going to hear so many things, you know, that you probably will not hear on the normal, you know, Big Brother Niger channel. Yes, guys. So how can I forget? Fina is the tale of house for the week. I mean, <laughs> it looks, it's looking like this tale of house is contagious from groovy you know to fina and groovy a mad boy do you know what he did he kind of knelt down to, to present the tale of house you know to fina and fina was like no 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 i don't want and the other housemates were like you know say yes say yes i mean i actually love the kind of high spirits they have right now that's why being uh, you know um on the chopping block and the funniest thing is her tax for being the tale of house is maybe better made a sound so whenever that sound comes on during that time of the day it's going to come out like two times first in the morning and first later in, the second one later in the day whenever it comes up in the morning she's not supposed to speak any known human language she is supposed to be making alien noises so let's say now she wants to talk some to somebody she will be like nye, nye, nye. <laughs> i don't even know what to say like basically yeah she should be speaking alien that's like one of the worst you know punishment you give to somebody for becoming the tail of house anyways it's going to be an interesting way coupled with the wager they have which is like a futuristic whatever I means if i don't understand this sha, but i know it's going to be an interesting week on that note i say thank you guys so very much please do not forget to vote for your faves because it's not by twitter poll it's not by what is going on facebook or instagram even on youtube it's not by saying oh my fave is strong that your fave that is strong on the outside might still not be you know strong you know at the polls make sure you vote so that you will not you know be blaming big brother for anything on that note, I say thank you guys so very much. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, you know what we do. Kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Till I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ Nay Williams.